questions remaining about three days after an ICE agent shot and killed a man in a club parking lot in Northeast Charlotte. And some activists are telling reporter Glenn Counts today they're worried it could be a long time before the answers come. Glenn? Well, Scott, uh, CMPD is heading up this investigation, even though it involves a federal agent. ICE was apparently assisting alcohol law enforcement on a statewide operation targeting nightclubs. Donald John Vieira was shot and killed by an ICE agent early Saturday morning. His friends are still trying to cope with that news. This man has so much going for himself, two kids, lovely uh, uh, girlfriend, you know, and he has something going for himself, just started his own business. Raekwon Carr grew up with John Vieira and they remained close friends. Police say a disturbance inside of Club Tropics led to violence outside. Some people who were in the club said there was some pushing and shoving over an entertainer. The ICE agent and alcohol law enforcement officials tried to intervene. Police say that John Vieira drove his car toward the agent, striking him, giving him a hairline fracture in his leg. The agent then fired, killing John Vieira. You can feel it in the neighborhood, man. It's just so quiet around here now. Like, you can feel the pain. Like, he's actually gone, man. Police were back at the scene today looking at surveillance video from neighboring businesses. There are still lots of questions about what happened and why. Robert Dawkins is with Action NC and has been on the forefront of demanding accountability surrounding incidents involving law enforcement. The fact that this isn't a local or state issue, uh, law enforcement, it makes it harder for us to get info. Carr says his friend was not a violent man. Why? That's it. It's, it's, <laughs> don't understand. This is why he's not the type that would do something like that, man. Well, police would not tell us if any of the video they looked at this afternoon is actually assisting them in their investigation. Homeland Security Investigations tells us that that agent continues to be on duty tonight. Reporting live from the Law Enforcement Center, Glenn Counts, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. All right, Glenn, thank you. Now, North Carolina alcohol law enforcement was also at Club Tropics this weekend as part of a statewide operation, and that was a big operation. Friday, agents arrested 226 people for different charges across the state. Locally, beyond that shooting, Glenn told you about the biggest bust involved apps and taps in Mooresville. ALE agents say they found workers using drugs and selling booze to people who were already drunk.